do NAD plus injections work? Well, I guess first up, I should say no, they don't. I will go on to explain why, but giving you the simple answer. So in the first 30 seconds of this, if you're thinking about where you're going to invest your money to get better NAD plus levels, injections are not the way to do it. Now, there are many reasons for this. To have any sort of physiological function, NAD plus needs to be inside your cells. You have it injected. Say, for example, this is an intravenous infusion in a clinic. You then end up with lots and lots of NAD plus that is in your veins and it's circulating around. And people talk about they start to get side effects like that their chest hurts, that they actually feel really, really, really unwell. And this is because you've got a large amount of NAD plus that doesn't belong in your vein in your vein. And once it's there, it has no way of leaving your vein because it's a very large molecule and the electrochemical conditions under which it could leave your vein basically in normal human life never happen. So we have a problem. And even worse is a study that's about to be published that shows that NAD plus in your veins is actually pro-inflammatory, that it can cause you issues problems from a health perspective that will counteract the reasons you might want to boost your NAD plus in the first place. Now pens, for me the problems here run even potentially a little bit deeper. So these are the self-injecting devices that you might inject into your tummy for example. So first of all NAD plus is a very unstable ingredient. When it's worked with in a laboratory it has to be kept frozen and it, it's only stable outside of a freezer for about half an hour. So you need to work with this quite quickly. So how a product that is either stored in a fridge or in a cupboard for weeks on end is able to claim any sort of prolonged activity from the NAD plus as yet I am unclear of. I have asked to see data and nothing has been forthcoming. That's problem one. Problem two is that you inject it into your subcutaneous fat layer. From there, whatever you've injected is absorbed into the bloodstream. And again, you go back to having the same problems with it as you did from an intravenous infusion, just in smaller amounts. You have a substance that somewhere where it doesn't belong, that can cause problems there. So for me, it's a little bit of a no-brainer if you understand the science behind NAD+. It isn't going to work if you inject it or infuse it intravenously. Stick to a supplement like Nucido's Time Plus that helps to boost production, cell salvage and recycling of NAD+, to give you overall better health. And better still, it has clinical studies in a peer-reviewed publication to back it. I really hope this has helped. If it has, do give this channel a follow and give this video a like.